Florian Hendricks was a fourth-year system management student at the time. He supplemented his income by working as a bartender at the Valesbroke Castle. As you can see, he is not a slacker. A true illustration of modern pigeon sport. He never leaves home without his phone, digital camera, or laptop. He makes no mistakes and is only interested in the best of the best. It doesn't bother him that he must dig deep into his pocket, that's why he works and enjoys investing his money. His ambition is to reach the top. It is not a matter of if, but of when, he will arrive. He'll most likely experience ups and downs, but this did not disturb him. He has a clear goal in mind, and he intends to achieve it. He recruited a lot of new blood during those last two years and only sought the best, aided by his father Joe Hendricks, who has been involved in the sport for far longer than his son and periodically changes or supports his son's goals. When Joe hears Florian recount his story, Joe can't help but remember how he used to be 15 years ago. His only goal was to be uninhibited, joyful, and to win. Oh, how frequently he was disappointed when they did not race as planned. Whereas most fanciers receive an egg here and there, or a bond or a young pigeon, Florian is more serious with his hobby. Initially, he obtained pigeons directly from Kuhn Minderhout, together with a friend named Ronnie Prumpler. Among them are descendants of the well-known Blah Gabby 103, Super Gabby, Witpen Wittenbeck and Blah Van Wittenbeck. He received pigeons from the legendary Belgian master Gabby Van den Abiel Super Ace, second ace pigeon of Belgium Middle Distance 2004, Blixum, James Bond, Yonga Cadet, Don Juan, Lady Weidenbeck, half-sister Wittenbeck and Witpen Turbo. He also received nine pigeons from another Belgian Super Loft, Floor Engels and Sons, including a first-class hen derived from Top Pigeon 1995, 6508036, who raced first Provincial Chateau Roux, as well as numerous other top trophies at the Angles Loft. In 2002, 2003, and 2004, he obtained more pigeons from Boardman's brothers in Reusel. Three Clacken, one of which is a very good breeding hen. He received some more youngsters from Scherlakens in Barl-Nassau, including a pair descended from the famed 95 to 230. This 95, 230 is a first brother from the 144 and 145 also known as Het Superch, an ace 4, from Ad, former first and second provincial ace pigeons Brabant. From the Ijerkamp family he purchased pigeons from lines of Gowden Smulders couple, Times Van Loon, and he got two birds from Marie Vink, the well-known branch of Gerard Koopman. Also, a very good cock was obtained from the known brilliant Jan de Liege from Vigilant who has won the prize of National Junior Race Orleans twice. The cock descends from de Liege's 94, 2073345. This 94, 345 got the title of Best Provincial Middle Distance Pigeon in 1997. He is truly top class with first prizes from Mettet, Montargis and Kryl. In 2005, they traded pigeons with another feared combination from Vigilin. Gerard and Pete Lindelof. Birds that descend from A.O. de Provence, brother of Wonderboy, Het Miracle, first national champion sprint 2002, and Het Cannon. Moved to Nitzwiller. Finally, some pigeons were traded with Nico Jan Coenders from Westervoort. There is a little cock being raised from his second best cock WHCB 2003, Zlatan. All this news keeps one mute, and it is even frightening. All that noble blood crammed into a couple of square meters. No other loft has invested in such high quality. Others are typically concerned with their location, but Florian, one is thinking about getting the best of the world. You read all of this, you naturally wonder how the outcomes are coming along. If you invest like Florian and almost everyone knows about your investments, you are obviously being watched very intently and critically. It is always easier to put the blame on someone else than it is to create good achievements for oneself. Florian competes for the powerful Salmonspell de Zuidusthoek Club. As you may be aware, this club houses some of Limburg's most powerful lofts. Getting good performances at this club is an accomplishment in and of itself. They attribute many of their outstanding exploits to the Klein 273, 
a true top-class race and breeding cock. This Klein 273 is one of the cleanest examples available. He was purchased in Ghoul Pen from Uncle Tejas Glugan. Tejas has been playing at the highest level for many years and has exceptional skills. The Klein 273 has produced exceptional results, which are uncommon. This individual has raced 28 times, finishing in the top 10, with 3 first prizes and 8 second prizes. In addition, 7th Provincial Chihuahua defeated 5,273 pigeons, 8th Bourge defeated 7,323 pigeons, and 12th Provincial Bourge defeated 8,231 pigeons. Without doubles, he has won 65 trophies in total. Again, an unparalleled super athlete, and this one was very likely not cheap. The Super Pigeon is from Lodzen Denberg and Turblich's one day long distance loft. He is the famous Dick's son from Lode, and the brother of his Super 33. As you can see, the apple does not fall far from the tree. If Lode had realized that this pigeon would turn out to be such an amazing cock, he would have kept him to himself. But doesn't that apply to all of us? This Klein 273 is A.O. the grandfather of the favorite. In the meantime, the favorite has moved to the land of the rising sun. As a young pigeon, he succeeded in becoming the fastest pigeon of the bond, no less than three times. First Red Hell Young Pigeons 26,447 pigeons, first Red Hell after season 25,290 pigeons and first Reams after season 17,437 pigeons. Three times the fastest department limber. Florian traveled to Zwolle with his friend Ron Prumpeler in March 2004 to buy a round of youngsters from the famed Anton Rudenberg. And he was rewarded for his journey. The 504 raced as a young pigeon. 26th Cine 1085 pigeons, 7th Red Hell 1160 pigeons, 16th Cine 214 pigeons, 4th Metet 248 pigeons, 26th Charleville 169 pigeons, 8th Red Hell 302 pigeons, 2nd Reams 178 pigeons, 2 seconds behind Favorite, the 04. 504 is the offspring of two direct descendants of the Jansen brothers of Arendonk and bought for only 30 euros. They do not have a huge loft, therefore there isn't much room to house many pigeons, which means a difficult selection method. The breeding loft was in the attic at the time and seemed extremely comfortable until a fairy loft was erected at present. When the pigeons are flying in the appropriate direction, they get a spectacular view. But that wasn't enough. Florian has a passion for youngsters out of super pigeons of whoever. So, there is so much space for reinforcements. And the rest is history.